officially fall, therefore I'm wearing a flannel and drinking hot coffee. Cheers to fall, man. For those of you who may not know, I go to the University of Georgia. I'm a freshman here, and last fall around this time, I was going through the college application process. And for a lot of you guys seeing this title, you're probably very excited right now and very happy because a lot of you guys have been asking me to sit down and talk about my college application process because all of last year while going through the couple of all of last year while going through the college application process, in my videos here and there I'd mention it and just how stressful it was, but I never went really in depth into it because it was personal and it nothing was for sure at the time and I didn't want to jinx anything and all that and people kept asking even after I decided I was going to University of Georgia for me to sit down and just talk about the application process and the schools I applied to and all that fun stuff and where I got accepted and all that and that's like a lot to put on the internet I think um, especially well, for me at first it was just like a lot but I knew because I love you guys so much and because I tell you guys literally everything I wanted to sit down and film this video I just needed to have a peace of mind and I needed to know where I was and I had that I was happy and I needed some time, needless to say, and I think I think that's fair. So I thought now would be the perfect time to film this video because now a lot of you guys that are seniors in high school, maybe juniors in high school, starting to think about the college application process, you're going through it. Like, this is prime time. September, October, November, whoo, I remember those deadlines. November 1, deadlines. January 1, deadlines. October 1, uh, I remember. Or October 15th, that was another deadline. That was another big one. I remember. I totally feel ya, and it's so funny seeing like friends of mine that are seniors now in high school, like seeing them go through the process. So I thought I would just sit down and talk to you guys about my college application process, any tips that I have, any regrets. I will talk a little bit about the schools I applied to and all that fun stuff, but some things are still a little sensitive for me, so <laughs> forgive me, but I do want to talk to you guys about it, and maybe some of you guys can relate to it, and maybe it'll make your process go a little bit better. I don't know. So this is like totally not scripted and not bullet pointed at all, so please bear with me. <laughs> right before school started, I sat down with my college counselor, and we made a list of a ton of schools. I think in total, I ended up applying to eight or nine colleges in total, which for some of you, it's like, yeah, that makes sense. Some of you are probably like, I'm applying to literally one or two schools, which is so fine. Like, I, I went to a college prep school, so naturally, like, you know, we're prepping for college, and like, I mean, all of my friends applied to eight plus schools, like, every single person, because it's just, it's just the thing, and I wanted to anyways, because I wanted options, and you never know where you're gonna accept it, where you're gonna get not accepted, and then if you don't end up with any schools, like, that's freaking scary. <laughs> so when I first started the college process, I had this mindset, I want to go to this huge southern school, like an SEC school, like, that was all I want to do. So I really only, at the time, had those on my list. I had University of Alabama, University of South Carolina, Auburn University, University of Georgia, and maybe one more that I'm forgetting, I don't know why. I didn't apply to any Florida schools though because I just knew I wanted to leave Florida. And then I also applied to another southern school but it was a lot smaller of a school called Furman University in South Carolina. I toured it and I loved it. Um, and then after a while I was like, wait, why am I not applying to schools up north? Then I decided to apply to Fordham University in New York. Fell in love with it. I love New York so much. You guys know that. That was the only school I applied to in New York and I regret it a little bit but I also the reason I didn't apply to a ton of New York schools is because I knew I wanted the Southern College feel, at least at first. Like, I knew that I'd kick myself if I didn't go to a big Southern school because that's something I've dreamed of forever. And then I also added Southern Methodist University in Dallas and I visited and I fell in love. It was a school that I found out a little bit later about, but then I was like, wow, this school's awesome. I love it. So, I'm pretty sure I'm... I don't think I'm forgetting any schools. I think those were all the schools that I applied to, but maybe if another one pops up. I don't know how many that is, but around eight or nine, or seven or eight. I don't really know. So the first school I got into was University of Alabama. I literally got in like the first week of September. Like it was such a confidence booster. Like I was so excited and actually I visited University of Alabama and I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was awesome. So I got into University of Alabama and then in October I found out that I got deferred from UGA, which at the time UGA was my number one school, but I was kind of under the impression that I wasn't gonna get into UGA. I really didn't think I was gonna get into UGA um, just based on stats and everything. Thing. There was just, you know, I I tried to like talk myself out of it in case I didn't get in and then I did end up getting deferred So I was like, you know what? 
don't like freak out about it because I kind of already talked myself out of that. That's when I decided to apply to Fordham University and Southern Methodist University. Um, and then I visited those two and I fell in love and I kind of forgot about Georgia because I was just like, I'm not gonna get in. It just, it's really hard because I applied early, I applied early action to almost every school, I think. Oh, I also applied to University of Southern California, but I... So then I also got deferred from Fordham and I was devastated because I had talked myself out of UGA and I went to go visit Fordham, I fell in love, I was like this is perfect, I get to be in New York while still have this true college campus and I was bummed and then I got deferred from Southern Methodist University, another one that I really talked myself into and it was a hard time, this was all during like Christmas break, winter, I mean I was just so confused, felt so lost and it was hard because at the time like before going into the college process, I really thought I'd know where I was going to college by December or January. Like I was like, I'll have a good idea or I'll have a lot of options. At this point, I really didn't have a lot of options. I was essentially deferred from all the top ones. I'd gotten into um, Furman University and University of South Carolina, um, but of course those are kind of like my backup schools. Not, not anything against those schools, they just weren't my tops. But they're also great schools, they just weren't for me, I guess. So then, Spring rolls around and um, essentially, I'm just gonna keep this short and quick. So essentially spring rolls around and it's the hell week of my spring musical, Into the Woods, and all of these um, college decisions are coming back for um, regular decisions. So that's when I'm finding out from schools that I got deferred from originally if I got in or I'm getting waitlisted or I'm getting denied. So I remember like right before we we're about to go on stage for the opening night of our spring musical, Into the Woods, I get two emails, one from SMU and one from Fordham saying my decisions were available. And I was freaking out and everyone was freaking out because all my friends were getting decisions back too and none of us wanted to open it because, I mean if it was great news that'd be amazing but if it was bad news like I would have a terrible show and I'd be so upset at myself. So literally the whole show I'm like going through it and I'm like oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then finally the show's over and um, I went back and I looked and I got waitlisted at Fordham and SMU, and it was a big, it was a, sh it was, it was hard. I was very upset. I cried, you know, naturally, and because those were the two schools that I was, at the time, really excited about because I had talked myself out of UGA. I had more hope. Like I really thought I was gonna get into SMU and Fordham over UGA just based off of like everything that I talked about with everyone. And you know, you can never assume though. It's so hard to predict this kind of stuff. So. I was really bummed. It was a really hard night. I cried. It's okay. Um, we're good now, but I'm a firm believer that I just wasn't supposed to go to those schools, clearly, because I did everything I could. I sent so many rec letters. I kept taking the SAT. I had a thousand activities on my resume. Like, I really, it was hard to, like, not take offensive, but it's also, they're really competitive schools to get into, and, you know, it's just gonna happen like that. So it's nothing against the schools by any means. I love those schools so much. It was just hard for me because those are schools that I really wanted to go to. Then on one of the other nights of the show, um, the UGA decisions came out. And at that point, I pretty much had no hope. I was not excited about it. I saw the email and I was just like, I'm not ready. Because literally from the beginning of my college application process last August, I was like, I'm not getting into UGA. I just would be so upset at myself if I didn't apply because I fell in love with it when I visited. So. Here's me, right about to go on stage again. I'm like, haha, there's UGA. Like, at this point, I literally had no idea what I was going to college. I was like, I'm gonna have to go to one of the other schools that I didn't really want to go to, or I was literally considering a gap year. It was a conversation I had with my parents, like, because I wanted to be 100% happy where I was. And again, this is something I was not expecting from my college process. Like, I really thought by, by you know, April, by like March, April, May, I knew where I was gonna wanna go. No, no, no. So that just goes to show, life isn't perfect. My life isn't perfect, so don't think anything of that. So anyways, the show goes, and um, my friends are like, are you gonna open the UGA decision? I'm like, I just can't do it in front of you guys. Like, you don't understand. Like, this will just be one more L for me to take. So I walk myself back to the student lot after the show. I said hello to my parents and everyone that came to the show. Got in my car, and I told my friend Mary Stephen, who's in the car next to me, I was like, if I come out screaming happiness, you know that I got in. And if I drive away, just don't say anything about it. So, <laughs> I got in my car, Mary Stephen was in her car next to me, I opened the email, fireworks flashed in my face, and it was like, congratulations, you've been accepted to University of Georgia, or whatever it was, and I had never felt happier. I literally ran outside of my car, it's nighttime, I'm screaming, people probably thought I was getting murdered, and Mary Stephen hops out of the car too, and we're like, yeah, like, go dogs! 
was like, and then people were like walking and they like heard me and they're like, yeah, go Danielle. Like it was the best feeling in the world and I'm so happy like, because wow. So you just never know. Going from UGA being my number one school to then realizing the stats, thinking I wasn't gonna get in and then thinking I was gonna get into these other schools, which in reality, I ended up getting into UGA and not those schools. So it's just crazy. I mean, I took my name off the wait list, so maybe I would have gotten in, but I just didn't wanna like worry about that anymore. And I loved UGA, so I was so beyond excited. It had been, I've wanted to go to UGA since I was a sophomore in high school. It was just, it was just after I visited, I fell in love. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the main gist, and I don't, and like, again, it's nothing against any of these universities. They're all amazing places, and I, Obviously, I loved them all because I applied to all of them. Um, but yeah, I finally can sit here and open up to you guys because I feel confident. I'm not embarrassed that I didn't get into certain schools because I have friends that didn't get into UGA but got into some of the other schools that I wanted to go to and didn't get into. So it's just, it goes to show, it's all about who's reading your application that day, what mood they're in, what they're looking for that day. It truly is, so like you cannot take it for offense. So for you guys that are going through the application process, just keep putting your 100% self in there. And even if you keep getting, like I'm talking like three or four deferrals or wait lists or whatever, keep going because there's going to be something that works out clearly. But it's gonna be rough and you're gonna think there's no hope because I straight up was like, I'm not going to college next year, it's just not gonna happen. So that just goes to show for you guys, and I just, I don't want to scare you by any means, and I'm so excited for all of you guys, and I cannot wait to hear when you guys figure out where you want to go, but just know that it's going to go a totally different way than you think, um, but you will end up where you're meant to be, and I'm loving it here at UGA. Never in a million years would I have thought that I'd get in, let alone be enjoying it, and all this amazing things that I've had with it, so yeah, that's kind of my college application process in a nutshell. I hope you guys are happy now because you guys have been asking me forever and please keep in mind like this was a really hard video for me to film um, because I'm kind of putting my whole life out there for you and um, so yeah comment down below if you have anything to relate to it but please don't trash me or be like wow you didn't get in because I don't want to relive that anymore <laughs> but I'm happy where I am now and I know everything happened for a reason but it definitely was a long process so Know that it might not be the easiest, but that you can push through it. Who needs some coffee? I love you guys so much. Please, please, please comment down below any videos that you want to see, specifically topics you want me to talk about, because I'm really into the whole like chill vibe where I sit down and talk about a topic, but I don't always know the topics you guys want me to talk about. So please comment down below. I swear I read the comments. I swear. So um, I will talk to you guys very soon. Have an amazing day. Good luck on your college application process. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be stressful. You're gonna cry. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna be so happy. It's gonna be a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time for my next video.